Hey guys. Happy Sunday. It is PTCGL time. Yesterday, some very interesting games where we got stomped in two. And then uh, the third one, we had a, a close battle with a Mewtwo V Union, which is something I never thought I would ever say. But um, yeah, that was a good one. Check that out. It uh, pretty much broke the game because I don't think maybe they didn't intend for people to actually play that card. I don't know. Not really sure, but uh, we're in it again. Flareon VMAX. Uh, we haven't made any changes yet. We'll see if we can do any of those before the and the next matches on the next weekend. I got to look through uh, the new trainer cards, the new energy cards, and uh, see if there's anything worth adding to the deck. All right, a game number one. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't notice it before, but it seems like there's a whole lot more shiny crap going on around the stuff on the... Also, I just noticed I have sunglasses now instead of... I don't know if it's glitched. It must be glitched. I don't think... I don't know what's going on, guys. This game is... I don't know... They, they seem to not fix the bugs, but they change things every time there's a weird patch or whatever. But uh, we're going to live with it. At least we're finding matches today. The first one was very hard to find, and I thought the game was broken, but maybe it was just temporarily busted. Or there was just no one that wanted to play. Could be a little mix of both, uh, where it's Canada only, so it's basically going to be Canada or anyone using a VPN. Um, all right, Flareon in the active. We're clicking done. We got our Flareon V Max, so we can set ourselves up for success. How's everybody doing? How's everybody playing? Is anyone playing any of the new decks? Have you played against some of the new decks? I uh, haven't really looked into what's good and what plays what with what, but uh, we got a little taste of the, the Palkia yesterday. And uh, we got a little taste of the Samurai, both of which kicked our butt. We got a little unlucky with the, the Samurai and we swung for 80 damage, which is not enough to take down a Samurai V-Star. If anyone's curious. All right, we got the uh, fancy origin form Palkia V. Very cool card, very interesting, very different. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we don't want a Marnie. We're going to heat energy and we're going to it sucks really bad that we don't want to Marnie, but I mean, that's kind of what we would Marnie into anyway. It sucks that we can't evolve right now. Uh, we're gonna not, or that we can't make use of the double turbo energy. I mean, unless we get, uh, we could capture energy next turn, Flareon VMAX, and then uh, put it onto our Arceus so that we can power up the next Flareon after this. We are hoping for the best, hoping that we don't, oh my god, we're gonna get KO'd. This is happening all over again. It's gonna be one of those cases where I think we're gonna have to run like Jolteon or something. Cause Palkia is out and about and gonna pump us every time, all time. Arena. All right. Item card, probably bucket, I would assume, or scoop up net, maybe for the, the sobbles. There is a very good chance that we are getting dumped on right now. Yeah, we're gonna, we might have to switch it up. Flareon, you might have to take a seat for a little bit because the, not that we can't beat Palkia, but the odds of beating Palkia with a Flareon, probably slim to none. This, this little dude is allergic to water and uh, 
It's just gonna be it's just gonna be a bad time every time. Just like that. Instant one hit KOs. Very unfortunate. Way too easy to set up and, and knock us out. And they have to brick almost immediately uh, in order to not beat us, but that's the thing. Maybe we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll finish out the day here with the Flareon, and then we might have to adjust our strategy uh, because just insta losses every time to the Palkia is a bad time. And uh, if we, c yeah, maybe we can set up a Jolteon that is gonna one hit KO the the Palkias. We'll we'll see. We'll see. All right, game number two, and at the end we'll uh, we'll hit that collect button, see what we get. We haven't been winning very many games, so we might not get all that much in terms of prizes. But uh, I know you guys probably would like to see that, at least some of you. If you stick around to the end, that's just what we'll do. I can't promise there's going to be anything good. It might be just some coins and tablet nonsense. It might be some packs. Hard to say. The um, reward system or premium pass or whatever you want to call it uh, is or was a little bit busted. It definitely changed my glasses to sunglasses, I think. Interesting. Also, I don't think they were green before. Maybe they changed the glasses options and then that it defaulted to those for the frames that I chose. I thought at first maybe they just like the transparent layer that's there kind of got messed up and I just have holes where my eyeballs were. It's kind of a, oh my god, three mulligans? Okay, well at least we got two Flareons. We're about to give our opponent a ton of free cards. Very unlucky. Kind of makes me wonder if we have some basic Pokemon in our prize cards. Genesect. Okay, we got the Mew deck. Interesting. We are going to. Ooh, okay, this is uh, this is tough. We could put you on there. I don't think we want to. I don't think we want to ultra ball. It would be very nice to ultra ball to get an Arceus, but then like we'd have to toss our Marnie because we want the we want the double turbo and the Flareon V Max for next turn. Hopefully he's not running Marnie. Hopefully we get to keep our hand, and hopefully we can start knocking stuff out before uh, we got Genesex drawing a million cards. Son of a gun, we don't like that. Not great. I would imagine Jolteon's probably pretty good against Mew. Cause you can, you can knock out the Meloetta, which is a threat. You can two shot the Genesex. It would take a while to knock out the Mew. I don't know how that goes. Do you, if anyone knows how that goes, let me know. I think it might be worth running the Jolteon just because Palkia is everywhere, ever. We're gonna, we might have to rethink. If we keep running into Palkia, we're gonna have to maybe we'll have to bench the the Flareon. Cramomatic coming in. We might have to look at other ideas. Let's go. Cramomatic. Got a full bench that is a little bit terrifying. Unless well, it's a sparkle. Okay. 
the I guess the good part here is he either has to retreat the Meloetta and lose one of those energies. Or the Meloetta goes down with two of those fusion energies on it. Oh no, we got the Mew V Max. That is scary. So the good part about that Mew V Max pull is if he can't evolve this turn, we have the ability to Marnie it out of his hand. But I mean, at this point in time, he's drawing so many damn cards that it probably does not matter. Oh my god, we just got socked for 210. This might be GG. Too much setup. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Alright, so we'll do one of these. We'll do one of these and these. And we will. Let's get an Arceus for fun. Um, we're gonna double turbo onto the Flareon because why not? We got Old Cemetery doing damage to us. We are hurting and in trouble. I think this is GG. But uh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's maybe there's a chance. Another way I would knock out the Arceus, or we'd like to have it in the active, and then we can't power up and retreat our Flareon at the same time. So. We just got a, we got a bad combination of things and he got way too set up, way too fast, which Mew can definitely do to you and, and then it's pretty much game over. Seventy times three. Escape rope, all right. All right, we're okay with that. We're definitely okay with that. If the Arceus goes down, well, oh no. The boss combo too, not cool. Not cool, Mew. Does he not have the Mew VMAX? He must, right? It would be awkward if he didn't. Okay, maybe, maybe not. <sighs> not what we need. We need one of these. We need one of these. That may or may not be helping him get the Mew. Okay, alright. We're gonna max detonate. We are going to lose next turn, probably. Nice that we got the, the Meloetta KO'd. We got the little flashbang effect there. Alright, Mew. Let's see it. Let's do it. We are having a rough weekend of games. It doesn't help that the, the Palkia is pretty much an automatic loss. We've seen that a couple times now. But, also have a Mew deck that fired on all cylinders except for the fact that it somehow, um, that is definitely gonna be a Mew VMAX. Or a Fusion Strike Energy. There's the Mew VMAX, and there is the Knockout. Alright, he's not going to knock us out, so we're going to concede, because we need to play another game. We need to win one today. We got an excellent battle. I disagree. I don't like playing against Mew when it fires on all cylinders. It's not fair. I don't like it. It's okay, though. We'll win the next one. Alright, third and final game. On this beautiful Sunday, that is it seems like a repeat of yesterday. We got something weird going on with the profile too, but we'll check that after this a game. If we win, if we don't win, we, we go into embarrassment overtime. 
where we just play games until we win one. We've been there one time. We don't want to go back. Hopefully we play against something that we can beat up on here. Or we can squeak a win out. Getting a little bit embarrassed by Palkia decks. Fingers crossed that doesn't show up. I think we might even have a worse matchup with the Palkia than it is with the Malamar, which is saying something. Again, we're searching for game forever, so I'll give it a cut here and I will be back when it uh, when it finds a game. Alright, we're in. It's game time. That took a very long time to find a match. Glad that I cut. Not that I don't want to talk to you guys, but it's, uh, it's a little bit weird to have a 20 minute searching for game discussion with myself, essentially, until you guys get to see it. Flareon B, Flareon B. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, we got the double turbo. We got a whole bunch of energies in our hand. Not necessarily what we need, but it could be worse. Capture energy or a Marnie or an Ultra Ball would be a very nice. All right, we're playing against Mew again. Let's see if we can avoid getting deed in the A this time. I don't know how we're going to get our Flareon VMAX, but hopefully we do. This is not looking good. He's already got a Mew and a Genesect and another Genesect with the capture energy. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh. We do not, we are not in a good spot. And uh, that did not help. That certainly did not help. I guess we, uh, we just attach and we, this is a worse than the last game in terms of our setup, but we can always hope that he, um, <laughs> Is struggling to set up, I guess. We have 120, so we do 140. He'll still have 40 HP, but we're gonna burn him. Oh no, that is not good. We need our Flareon V Max if we don't get KO'd here, which is probably a pretty good chance. We got power tablets, which are going to smack daddy yes oh no the Meloetta oh no the old cemetery come on give us a flurry on VMAX on the draw here if we don't get knocked out oh no oh no okay interesting he didn't put it on the Meloetta Probably because the Meloetta is sort of a target, so that that uh, that Echo 70x wants to be used by Mew. But 240, we're alive. All right, give us a Flareon V Max game. Oh my God, it did. Okay, all right, we are in trouble. We're in some serious trouble here. But um. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know how we're getting out of this. Uh, we need another Pokemon. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, our Flareon V Max does not go down next turn, but I have a feeling he probably will. All right, all right. We knocked out the Mew. We're living on the edge here. We have a very, very injured. All right, we got another Flareon. All right, you just have to survive one turn for us here, Flareon. You can do it. I believe in you. Survive. 70x. He's only got one. Do, 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 do. 
he gets another fusion energy. We are done, son. So what's he gonna retreat? Okay, all right. Survive, I believe. Quick ball, all right. We got another Genesect on the bench. Stupid fusion strike system. Really, really hate that ability. Maybe even as much as the Drizzile nonsense. Shouldn't say that. The uh, Jolteon deck uses the Drizzile, so. We'll see, we'll see, okay. All right, we're alive, we're living. Setting up another Mew, but that's gonna give us time to put another Flareon on the bench and hopefully get a Marnie or something to get rid of this not so great hand. Think about the Mew, the Mew VMAX has what, three, 310. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to hit him for four anyway. So, we might as well put the double turbo on him. We're gonna have to turn him. Oh, goddamn. Old Cemetery being a pain in my butt. Alright, okay. Fudge. There's a uh, Flareon V Max that we need. There is a Heat Energy. That is not what we need. We need it. We need a Flareon VMAX. We got one in the discard. We got one on the, on the mat in play. Oh my God, that hurt my eyes. I don't know why they go out of focus. Like the, the image is not always out of focus. It's just when it renders in certain areas, it takes your eyeballs and it shits on them. All right, come on. Bring it on. Flareon VMAX is going down. We are, again, relying on another Flareon VMAX to come out of the deck right now. Or an Ultra Ball would be cool too. We're cool, we're cool with that. We'll take an Ultra Ball. Give us an Ultra Ball, give us an Ultra Ball. We don't have boss in this deck, which sucks because um, if we do survive, if we do get the Flareon VMAX, um, then oopsie doopsie, we can't uh, pull a Mew out to end the game. Sort of sucky that that's what we're relying on. Alright, Ultra Ball, let's see it. Or, Ultra Ball, still got four of them that we have not played yet. Fudge Packer. That sucks. That sucks. A mean one. The worst part is, I mean, he could have like just attached another energy to this guy too and techno blasted us to death. We are, we lose. All right, it's going to embarrassment over time. Three losses, oh my goodness. We are losing games today, but it's okay. We got him in the next one. He did 420 damage to us. We got blazed. Not going good, guys. Not a good weekend, but we're gonna turn it around. All right, embarrassment over time. And number one, we'll hit the play button here. And hopefully we'll find a match, but I'm going to stop recording and I'll uh, be right back when I find one, just in case. All right, we're back. We found a game. It wasn't as long as I thought it would be, but it still would have been an awkward amount of time in between. We got the uh, triple boy coin. I don't know what this was even from. Was it released? Oh, maybe, I have no idea. If you know what product this coin was from, let me know. All right, flip your coin. 
get your tails. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. We're ready to win a game. But we can't, uh, we can't go out like this. That is not a good start. Also, I've got a bad feeling about this one. Based on this individual's sleeves, we might be, we might be in trouble. Oh no! Not again! Opponent is picking a number. It's two extra cards, cause why not? Our deck is uh, flopping and popping on us today. Okay. We got a Zashian. Intrepid Sword. Zashiono. Alright, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. We are going to attach a fire energy. And we are going to Ultra Ball. You and you. And we're going to hit done. We're going to get one of these Arky boys. Arky Barkies. There we go. And then next turn, we can Ultra Ball the V Star. Which is awesome. Because then we can get a Marnie. We can get a Marnie and we can get a double. Alright, we're okay with the Zation because we hit it for 2x, which is pretty cool. Trekking shoes. Using trekking shoes. Interesting. Boss's orders, not cool. Oh, he quick balled the boss's orders. I'm wrong. Don't pay attention to what I just said. Bronzor on the bench. Alright, we got a metal deck. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I just noticed the uh, Arceus archway kind of thing. Ooh, we got the uh, Dialga deck. We got trolled by the Palkia sleeves. Alright, we're okay with this. Because we are also hitting him for double damage. Nothing wrong with double damage, guys. Nothing wrong. As long as you're the one pumping out the double damage and not receiving it, it feels good. I still think it's a little bit busted in terms of, like, it, it basically just is an auto loss when you're taking double damage. Especially with the big hitting stuff against big hitting stuff. Chunky HPs. The 2x is usually a one hit KO. Which is uh, never, never fun. Luminion, okay. We got the alt art. This guy is balling. Balling and sprawling. It doesn't have the reverse bronze orb for some reason. What a, what a pleb. Am I right? Marnie. Alright. He's going to Marnie S. That sucks. A mean. Mean one. Alright, we still got the Flareon and the double turbo. We're fine with that. Intrepid Sword, drawing some cards. Okay, our turn. We are Flareon V Max. Even the double turbo energy matters very little because we're hitting double damage. Uh, and we just want to start hitting right away. Nice detonate. Give us some energies. There we go. 760, baby. Feels a little bit cheesy to be doing so, but you know what? We're in embarrassment overtime right now, and I need a win. You guys need a win too. You're probably sick of watching me right now. Lose my ass off today, yesterday. Pretty bad. We might have to rethink. Although, I mean, if half the people are playing the Dialga deck, Half the people are playing the, the Palkia deck. It's just going to be a coin flip whether or not I win the game. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Aqua Return. Alright, alright. Let's get the V Star. Oh, that's the uh, take an extra turn. Bad boy. Okay, we're okay with that. T take our Arceus if you want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Target the Arceus, baby. Ow. 
Wait, did he not use? Oh, oh man, Star Chronos takes like a billion energies. Okay, I see what's going on here. Um, hmm. We are going to capture energy and we're going to prepare for the worst. We're going to get a Flareon, put it on the bench and we're going to training court. We're gonna put an energy in our hand because it's better in our hand than in our discard pile and it's better in our deck than in our hand. If that makes any sense. If you know, you know. All right, all right, he's powering up. Metal Saucer, okay. Is he gonna use the Star Kronos? Are we getting croned on? 220, take another turn. Does he need five? It seems very hard to set up. Although, with the Bronzong you can transfer energies, right? Steel energies? There it is, cool, we get the Bronzong. I still haven't pulled that yet. One of my favorite character rares of the art style. Jasmine, probably one of my favorite gym leads. If this was a Mawile instead of a Bronzong, I would be extremely amped. Still a beautiful card regardless. I love the like the etchy stuff in the background, the like etchy sketchy bronzong. Jasmine there. Just a just a beautiful card. Character rares, best thing that ever happened. Uh, my favorite Watsy set, I guess pre pre E series is a definitely a gym challenge. I love the, the you know the trainers that go along with the uh... Okay. We are in a little bit of trouble here. We're gonna go lucky energy. Hmm. All right, we're gonna get another training, training court. We are, we're in quite a bit of trouble here because if we don't get another Flaring on VMAX, um, we are gonna get hit by that double turn MF or potentially. It's weird that I guess just moving back and forth, just in case the uh, Dialga got KO'd. Moving the energy onto the bench for safety. Is he gonna knock out the Arceus? That is the uh, real question. Even here, we're gonna do 2x, we're gonna do 240. So we can knock out, hmm. We can knock out the V, but we can't knock out the V star. Unless we get a uh, Unless we get a single strike energy, which would be nice. Single strike energy would make our one fifty to three hundred. It still would knock him out with the uh, chunky charm. So we need to make sure Okay, alright, 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 alright. Do we retreat the Arceus? I think we do. Retreat. We need to get out of here. We need to hope that he doesn't get another um, V star. Um, let's put another energy on him just because we might have to retreat him to win the game. Oh my god, Flareon, what are you doing to me this weekend? Come on! Man, that sucks. But at least we got a chunk on the uh, on the V star here. Oh no, we had another V star. That is not good. It's weird how they have the they have like silver border when they're on the bench. I guess all the V stars do that instead of the V. I don't know if that's a new thing. Or if I'm losing my mind. Okay, he's gonna bo boss out the Arceus. Please. Oh no, not the Flareon. No, not the Flareon. Oh no. Our boy. Our boy. 
Is he gonna? All right. All right. We got we got a one v two here. This is not good. If we lose to this, I I don't know what to tell you guys. Metal transfer. All right. He's got six on there. What? Oh, he's using the. Uh, He's using he's using the uh, the metal blast. Oh, please do not have please do not have a boss. Come on, don't you dare, don't you dare! If is he gonna move the energies to the one on the bench? Yeah, I was gonna say like, why is he? Is it just putting just an oh no no we're gonna lose why this is the worst there's no way we should lose to this deck and we're going to we are going to lose there's the 320 Rest in peace, Flareon. All right, guys, it's uh, time for uh, time for another game. That feels real bad. We're doing double damage and we can't finish it off. I don't. We couldn't find that second Flareon Vmax. Our hand bricked super hard. Man, that sucks. All right, it's it's time for another embarrassment overtime. It's gonna be like a four-hour-long video. Or Flareon, I don't know what to tell you, Flareon. If you're losing to that, if you're losing to that deck, you, you don't deserve to win. Man, that sucks. There's been, between the Palkias this weekend, between the, like, just crappy uh, top five cards doing not enough damage to keep us in the match, just nothing. Nothing, uh, nothing going for us right now. Only, only goes up from here. Only can improve from, from this. The worst part is it wasn't, um, at least from what I noticed, it wasn't really necessarily misplays. More so just um, lack of luck. And then also neck choice, probably not the greatest. I, I, unless we end up, you know, not hitting Palkia's. But uh, I would imagine that it's pretty popular right now. We're gonna we're gonna give it a pause just until I find a match. All right, we found a match. This is also a little bit of the uh, the worst part of losing all these games and playing extra games is the fact that in between matches it seems like the matchmaking is taking absolutely forever right now. But uh, we're gonna suffer through. We're gonna. Our opponent is going to flip a flip a coin. We're gonna go first. Rayon Cool ninety seven. All right, all right. Okay, we got a, we got a decent little start here. We're doing all right. We can get rid of the lucky and treasure. All right, and our opponent is going to. The hell are they playing? They got a Roxanne. They got a Clara. Is this a Samurai? Samurai deck? Dark Rye deck, maybe. Dark Rye? Question mark. I want two cards, of course, of course. All right, all right. Glarian Moltres deck. Evolving skies. Pre-release promo. Cool. All right. So we are going to. We're going to do the one of these. We're going to Ultra Ball you and you. Done. And we're going to get one of you. We're going to put this bad boy on the bench. And we are going to Arceus V-Star next turn. Which is going to be a good time. End turn. Your go. Show us your Moltresness. I wonder if because he's playing the... Uh, 
the Roxanne. If he's trying to play some like single prize craziness on me. Badoof, okay. Is it I wanna see a dark rye. I don't even remember what dark rye does. But that would be cool. Nice to see people playing the the new decks. Oh my god, this is a disgusting start. This just shouldn't even be legal. Uh, the game just feels bad for us at this point. Let's Murney. Let it Murney. All right. We can put our other Flareon on the bench. Um, I think we're just gonna save our V Star. We don't. Uh, we don't need it. We got pretty much everything we got, everything we need for this turn. We're gonna 280 to the Moltres, and we're fighting just a Bidoof. All right, it's bound to happen, guys. We're coming back. We're gonna win a game here. We're gonna end the video. Uh, we're we're not trying to set any records here for the longest uh, <laughs> PTCGL video without a win. We're uh, we're ready. We're ready to finish this off. I'm ready to open some zillions of enemy acts, uh, which will be like a Friday, Saturday extra super bonus video. Probably time it. I would get like a, a late slot for that bad boy. I know there's a few people in the Discord that were uh, waiting for me to open something other than Pokemon cards, and uh, zillions of enemy acts is definitely my my go-to. I don't play, uh, and it's Japanese only, but uh, I love the. Uh, so it's sort of like a JRPG kind of feel to it. A little bit of anime waifu stuff going on. Lots of fighting. The anime itself is very good. There's only like two shorter animes. Okay. It doesn't really matter what he does to our hand here. Because we, we do have the, the V-Star ability here. So we're just going to... Mm, we're going to first training court. We're going to manually attach a heat energy to this bad boy. We're gonna. We're going to star birth. And we're gonna get one of you, one of you. Flareon V Max. All right. There's there is. Oh my God! What does Hoopa do? This Pokemon didn't move from the bench to the active spot this turn. This attack does nothing. What? Okay. All right. We're okay with that. Uh, we don't really need the Ultra Ball, which is kind of sad. Do we really want a Marnie? I don't think we even Marnie. I don't think we Marnie. We get Ultra Ball. We're just, we're just gonna do nothing with our hand. We get an Ultra Ball and take another Pokemon out of it, out of the uh, the deck itself to make sure that we do more damage or have you know a better chance of doing more damage. But I don't. We don't really need it uh, because we're hitting single prizes here. I feel like we lost so many games that we're maybe be playing against a deck that is not so great. Single prize deck, not exactly what we want to be playing against, but if he doesn't have some kind of crazy gimmick, then it doesn't really matter. We would like a double turbo, I guess, for the Arceus V Star. Just in case we have to send him into the action. But, uh. Alright, we get another Moltres. Why can I not look at the Moltres? There we go. 50 more damage for each prize card I've taken, so he's gonna do a buck 20 right now if he manages to attack us. This is one of the rare occasions where boss would make a lot more sense in this deck uh, because if he's hiding, if he hides the Moltres, then we could have brought it into the active, but it looks like he's gonna bring it out and attack with it before hand. 
All right, quick balling. It's gonna get another Moltres. Radiant Greninja, all right. Seeing a lot of Radiant Greninjas. I, no, I clicked on the Greninja. Damn, this game gets clunkier and clunkier. Draw two cards. I guess it, they're just using it for the draw two cards. Interesting. All right, let's um, let's attach another one of these. We're going to training court. He did 150 because he has a choice belt. All right. Um, no, we're we're just we're gonna leave the Marnie in our hand in case we like are running out of cards and we need to shuffle back into our hand because we still have to knock out quite a few mons. A double colorless would be really nice. Lucky energy. We could start attaching to the Arceus V-Star. Then at least we can be like knocking stuff out for 200. I don't think, we only need to knock out three more things here. So I don't think it's an issue because we're going to knock out anything and everything that's single prize. And then, worst case, if we draw too many, uh, we can Marnie it back in to give ourselves another turn, basically. I wonder what happens if I discard the last... What happens if, if I don't have five cards to discard? Does it, does it end the game? Do I lose? Usually the games don't go long enough, especially if you're not facing single prize. Um, to to run out of cards, so a lot of people were saying like Volcarona, Volcarona. Uh, I was running Volcarona at the start. It does make a lot of sense uh, if you had longer drawn out games, but when you're you know three prize cards, two prize cards for the most part, almost every game um, doesn't really matter. Oh no, our Flareon VMAX is down for the count. How many... How many birds does he... That's only the second Moltres. I don't know how many Moltreses would be in this deck, but... We could... Attach this... The double, man, we really want the double turbo. But, it also would nice, be nice to at least to have one attachment onto this bad boy. Um, so that we can, if we find the double turbo with our Marnie or whatever. Because it'd be nice to have him in the active rather than the Flareon. We can charge the Flareon back up if we discard the energy, get the training cord to put them back in to play. But, uh, okay. Malevolent charge. Okay, alright. Oh my goodness. Alright, how much is he doing here now? Four. 220. 220 damage on the Moltres. So here is where it would be really nice to be able to... Hmm. How many double turbos? Oh, no, they're all in the discard pile. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that idea. Oh my god, if we lose this Moltres deck, I am going to cry. I might cry. All right. Um... <sighs> I mean, we kind of we kind of just have to bank on the fact that because uh, if we don't attack him, he's gonna do two twenty. He's gonna do two twenty to the Vista. We can't attach. We just gotta hope that he can't set up another Moltres for next turn. If he does, we lose basically because the Greninja is going to balloon again. Man. Hard games. Hard games this weekend. We should have tried harder to set up our Arceus V-Star to, to be in the active. Um, 
because the Arceus can go down. We're fine with that. But if the Flareon goes down, if the stupid Moltres comes back again and we're going to lose to it, just barely. Son of a... Son of a buns. All right. Next game, guys. Next game. Longest video in history. Coming up. All right, next game. We are going to win a game eventually, I promise. Someday. Someday we will win a game. Tails never fails. All right, come on. Let's uh, let's win this one, please. For the love of God, let me win this game so we can end this video. Is anyone still watching at this point? Comment below if you are. Um, if so, why? Are you just here for my misery? Uh, because it's, uh, this is getting pretty miserable at this point. There is uh, no way should we, we should lose this many games in a row. Unreal. We're playing against another Mew deck. And hopefully we just get it set up and, and rolling prior to... Uh, we're going first, so we, I thought it was second for some reason. Not cool. The double turbo would be a very nice at this point, but we don't have one of those because Budge, the battle VIP pass, coming in extra hot in order to F us in the B. This is bad. Is this rigged? It's gonna be another loss. Get out of here with the Meloetta. We might have to retire the Flareon VMAX. We're losing to everything. Again, the, the single prize deck. I can't believe we lost that last game. Single prize decks are not our exact forte. And Mew, if Mew gets set up, which it looks like it's getting set up right now, is um, not fun. It's going to stomp us pretty badly. Almost impossible at this point for it to, to not do bad things to us because it has Genesex that are going to draw a billion cards. It has the Meloetta and the active. It has, it has a Mew on the bench ready to power up. It's, uh, it's all around bad. All around bad time for everyone. We're going to take some damage here because of this stupid old cemetery. We don't play any stadium cards, which is... Also a little bit unfortunate that we can't like get this out of the way. Also it would be nice in order to, to shut down the fusion strike system. Um, with the path to the peak, which we don't run in this deck. It might be it might be Jolteon time. We might have to go back to the Jolteon. I don't know if there's anything that made it better or that would change about Jolteon. But it might be Jolteon time. Come on there, L60. What? He quit? That's how it was gonna end. That's how the, 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 the losing streak is gonna end in a game where we were probably gonna lose. All right guys, I'm counting it. Whatever. Let's, let's, get, some, let's get some prizes here. We got all kinds of things flashing and going on here. This was flashing before, but now it's not. The profile thing. Which is kind of weird. Let's go collect. Let's collect our daily quests and our retreat for Pokemon. Well, we played enough games. We have lost enough games <laughs> that I guess that uh, we get some of those prizes. All right, we got three packs at least for everyone that stuck around for the uh, six hours of gameplay. You are going to be rewarded now with some uh, packs that aren't even the full quantity of cards in a pack. Puchina Gardenia is a vigor. Spicy Curry, a Powdon, and a Heatran. Shout out to Typhlosion, uh, the real Typhlosion from Discord. He is a Heatran puller, if you know what I mean. Heracross, Temple of Sinnoh. All right, we got the, the Mummy Frost Moth, Frost Mummy, and a Reggie Drago. All right, one pack left. Let's get it. We got a Scyther, Mischievous. 
super effective glasses. I still want to see someone use that for some reason. That'd be kind of cool uh, with the Flareon if you use the super effective glasses and you hit for a thousand, but then it would be 3x. So you'd be like 1500 bangers if you get five energies against something with weakness. That'd be pretty, pretty wild. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord if you haven't already. See you next time.